Hi guys, this is Courtney from Ruby Red Farm. Today's the day. We're going to be moving the chicken tractor out of the garden and onto green pasture. They've been there for about five weeks and they have run out of snacks at this point. So we're going to be moving them and we'll bring you guys along with us. So one of the first things I need to accomplish is that I need to get a lot of the movable parts and pieces moved while it's still daylight. So the waters that we've used through the summer, those unfortunately will freeze as the winter goes along. So I'm going to be actually taking those completely out of the rotation. We'll use the rubber tubs for the rest of the winter. But we want to get as much stuff moved as we can during the day because we actually move them at night to make our lives a whole lot easier. These are empty. I'm not that strong. So these waters just do not work in the winter. Once they freeze, it can break the mechanics in them and they just don't feed water out like they're supposed to. So these will be going into the greenhouse for the winter so that they do not freeze. The girls are snacking on their last little bit of pumpkin that we threw in a few days ago. So the main reason we move the birds at night is because even though these are chickens, they are in fact birds. And so they have that really crazy homing mechanism where if we move their coop too late in the evening, they will actually lay down and go sleep where they used to live. So we have come out and had 150 birds laying in the grass where there's now not a coop and we have to move them all by hand. Time for the headlamp party. This is what everyone does at seven o'clock on a Monday, right? We'll set the net back up. We're just gonna move them over a notch into an area that had a little bit of garden as well so that they can get some of that stuff as well. And away we go. One of the first things we have to do is get in all the stragglers. I feel like this poor guy's on cops right now. Come on, girl. Get everybody put away. And grab anything that moves. So we get to go through and remove all of this netting, pile it up and redo it all. Yep. Yes, thanks to Daylight Savings, we get to do this at 6.30 at night because it's dark all the time. How do you feel about Daylight Savings, Brandon? So the main reason we're moving them is, like I mentioned earlier, they've kind of eaten everything that was in the garden. But the reason we move them in the first place is because when we put them in this netting, it can concentrate that manure and you get a lot more benefits with the regenerative farming aspect of it. Um, on top of that, it makes for them a whole lot happier because they're getting fresh grass and they're getting a lot more just cognitive engagement as they go throughout their day when they're going to a new place every few weeks. Our helper, always so helpful.
we're moving. Hold on tight, girls. How'd that go for you, honey? Well, it's a little wet. Um, and my four wheeler doesn't have quite the amount of weight that I would need. Typically when it's this wet, the tractor is a better method of moving this. But seeing as there is no daylight, um, four wheeler is what it is. So <laughs> I don't have any headlights on the tractor yet. Also, it's really creepy out here at night. You get some really funky shadows, and I'm afraid of the dark. All right, how are we going to move the teenager chickens? Uh, I think I'm going to have to hook to it, move this net out of the way, and pull them between the trees over. Okay, we always have to get creative. Yeah, especially when it's this wet. out of the garden is so much harder. It's a lot easier in the middle of a field. Okay, looks good. That's going to be called good enough. Before we break the door. Yeah, that's gonna be fun getting out too. Give everybody a little bit of food here. Well, it should be good for some new territory and whatnot. And then we are done. So here they are in their new home the morning after. You can see they have a lot of fresh grass. Here is the comparison, the really stark comparison between where they were in the garden and then the new area. Now granted, the orchard had grass before and the garden didn't, but you can just see that dramatic difference that the switch really does make. So that's our process. This is how we move our chicken tractor. We do prefer to do it at night because the birds don't have to all be wrangled and now they know where their new sleeping spot is. Plus, I personally love that they get a nice surprise the next morning with fresh grass and fresh snacks. If you've enjoyed this content, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. For now though, this is Courtney from Movie Red Farm. I hope you all have a great day. Want to see how the girls react to snacks?